Okay, so that sound you can hear is a London Midland Scottish Jubilee class locomotive. A thank you to Stephen for lending me the footage. Fun fact about that locomotive, it has 80 inch high driving wheels. Another fun fact, if those driving wheels are rotating at 336 revolutions per minute, then its road speed in miles per hour matches its driver height in inches. 80 inches high, 80 miles per hour. So if we count the rotation of the driving wheels and if we put a timer on them and, and if we do a bit of mathematical jiggery-pokery, we can estimate the road speed of various locomotives from various YouTube clips. Thanks to Matt G for this Classy X Canadian National 482. We simply count the cadence. You'll note here that the timer is counting seconds and frames, so part of the mathematics is converting the frame rate to hundredths of a second. So it's an easy one, nice and slow, but check this one out, UP844 from UP Steam. Each rotation is slightly less than three frames, so I counted over an extended period of time to reduce the rounding error down to as close to zero as I could get, so as to hopefully make no odds. and 76 miles per hour which for this sort of locomotive it's a three-quarter speed right because they were capable of fast running this beauty here the NZGRJA class is my favorite here's a promotional clip courtesy of the New Zealand government and archives New Zealand it includes a bit of 1950s casual racism, if you listen closely. There's anecdotal evidence of these locomotives hitting 75 miles per hour, but I don't know if the valve mechanism could have coped with that rate of rotation. Still, that's some serious RPM. And here's the goat. Thanks to the Internet Archive, it's silent footage, so I've actually used the sound from UP844. Feel free to post your indignation below. What impressed me most about this clip is not so much the speed of the locomotive, but the speed of the vehicle pacing it. And one more from the Internet Archive, no introduction needed. It's ambling on this particular day, so imagine the blur of the motion if we were to put an extra 40 miles per hour on top of what you're witnessing here. Here's some walking examples from the Southern Pacific coming in, ambling to a halt. Thanks to Richard from Speed Graphics for these posts. He's overlaid music from the time period on top of the silent footage because he's a much more classy operator than me. Only two rotations to count and there's obstruction so it's not the greatest sample and maybe the speeds can be taken with a grain of salt here. But when we line the two locomotives up together, the speed differential between the two kind of looks legit. Righto, back to the LMS Jubilee and more of Stephen Thompson's footage. It's a great looking locomotive on a beautiful day in that northern moor landscape and it's operating at speed. And to finish up, let's have a look at a Stania Black 5. More footage from Stephen Thompson. I'll set the timer, you can count the cadence, you can do the mathematics, and put your estimate in the comments below. All right, there we are, 336 RPM, a magic number where driver wheel height equals road speed. Like, subscribe, enjoy. Cheers.